Hi everyone, my name is Chloe Beard and I'm, health, I'm a health coach at Mandela Integrative Medicine. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and easy kid snack or you could eat it as a dessert, however you want to use it. Um, I created this recipe after a dessert my mom used to make called O. Henry bars and it had um, the oats in it but it also had caro syrup which is not something we want to be eating or especially want our kids to be eating. So I altered it a little bit. Um, I didn't add chocolate today, but you absolutely can. Um, it's just gonna add more sugar to the recipe, but of course probably make it taste a little bit better too. So this one is quick and easy. I have six cups of organic rolled oats already measured out here in this bowl. We have um, organic honey. So we need two cups of that and it's a lot and the hardest thing is getting all the honey out of the container. So I'm just going to squeeze, I got a squeeze bottle so it'd be a little easier. I'm going to dump that in entirely. Now let it sit upside down for a while and then dump the rest in a little bit. If not, that's still probably enough honey. Then we have organic, my favorite. Aldi peanut butter. Um, the reason I like it so much is because the only ingredients are peanuts and sea salt. And if you look at a lot of other organic peanut butters, you'll notice there's palm oil and some other oils and other ingredients that don't really need to be in there. So this one's just peanuts and sea salt. Um, it is going to be a little bit more liquidy. You have to stir it up, but because we're dumping it in, we need two cups and look at that. Most of it already came out. That'll be good enough. So two cups of honey, two cups of peanut butter, six cups of oats, and you're just going to stir this all together. My daughters love these as breakfast, snacks, um, desserts. Uh, they like them a lot, and there's only three ingredients, so they're not too bad for you. No sugar added, just natural sugar from honey. Once I get this stirred up, my plan is to put it in the freezer. You can do the refrigerator for 30 minutes or if you're trying to do it quickly, you know, maybe 10 minutes in the freezer. The reason we do that is because if I were to go to roll this into balls right now um, to make the O. Henry balls, it would all stick to my hands and it'd just be really, really messy. So by putting it in the fridge or the freezer, it makes it stick together a little bit better and then it's not so hard to roll into the balls. All right, and now that's ready to go in the freezer. So we just took this out of the refrigerator and it was in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. So I don't even measure when I do this, but I just go ahead and take a small clump and roll it into a ball and then place it in a glass dish. Because it's a little cold, it's not sticking to my hands as, as badly. Um, one thing I would like to add is that you know, if you're going to put chocolate chips in these or maybe melt some chocolate and drizzle it over them, which would be really tasty, I would suggest using a Good Life brand. And the reason is, is because there's no gluten, nuts, soy, or dairy in them. And they're 69% cacao. So you have um, the good nutrients that you're getting from dark chocolate. And that would make it more of a nutritious little treat. There are five grams of sugar in them. Um, but that little bit compared to, you know, some of the typical snacks we give our kids, this is a much healthier option. Thank you for watching Health Coach Chloe, Mandela Integrative Medicine.